Hello everyone, this is Prakash Kumar and in this video I am going to explain the snappy hex mesh in the open form. So for this I have used the wing motion tutorial. I will go to the wing motion snappy hex mesh folder. In that there is a folder called system inside which the snappy hex mesh dictionary is available. I have opened this in the VS code and by default the dictionary content looks like this. So one of the crucial part in snappy hex mesh dictionary is defining the geometry that we are going to use for the meshing. In this case the file name wing 5 degree is used as the starting geometry. This file is present in the constant folder with under the geometry folder where we can directly find the file. I have opened the file in SOLIDWORKS and the wing looks something like this. The dimension of the wing is 1 mm in the cord and 1 mm in the wing span. When we run this snappy hex mesh dictionary completely, the result of the mesh generated in Paraview looks something like this. As you can see, the mesh gets finer and finer when we move close to the wing surface. As we move out, we have a very coarse mesh because at that point there will be very less morphing gonna happen. So for properly running the snappy hex mesh dictionary, there are three main key parameters that are required. Initially, the first one is to have a geometry in the form of an STL file. So we have defined the wing with the same concept. Second is to have a background mesh over which the hex mesh can be superimposed. For that I will use my terminal. The command that I am going to use is the block mesh. This creates a background mesh which I will show you in the para view. So this is my para view window. For opening the mesh that I have generated through block mesh, I will go to the folder that I am working on. This is the folder in that I'll go to the system and open the control dict for file. Here you can see this is a hex background mesh that I have generated through the block mesh. After this I'll use the snappy hex mesh to superimpose and cut a part of the wing that I want. So this is the default snappy hex mesh dictionary. In this there are three main key elements. The cascaded mesh, snap and add layer. Initially I will set the snap and add layer to false so that you can see what cascaded mesh actually do. I'll run this file. For that, I will use the command snappy hex mesh overwrite. It says my meshing finish without any error. So now I can view the generated snappy hex mesh on my So as you can see there is an airfoil shape that I have generated over this background hex mesh that I have used through the block mesh. It looked very similar to the first result that I have shown with the default snappy hex mesh dictionary. 
but there are few errors in the mesh that i have generated initially the boundary of the wing generated is not smooth and there are few elements that can fill up the space to make it very smooth for proper transition for that i have i will use the snap function in the snappy hex mesh i will again run the snappy hex mesh command and override the previous mesh so my mesh has generated without any error and therefore i can view it successfully in the para view window as you can see there is a very smooth transition from the fine mesh to the airfoil boundary which was not visible in the previous case without the snap function used so this was the previous case and after the snap function the transition has become very smooth but there are one there is one more error that is the boundary elements are not properly squared they are in the form of triangle for that i have to add few layers of square mesh around the wing surface there is a function called add layers in the snappy hex mesh dictionary for as default i'll make it true and run it again to show you the result again my mesh has generated without any error and i'll open it in the para view window now you can see there is no triangle element next to the wing surface and there is a square layer added with the total number of layer being 3 this is due to the add layer command in the snappy hex mesh where i have set the number of layers as 3 from this line this way we can use the snappy hex mesh to generate very effective cutouts from the background mesh which consume very less amount of time compared to the traditional case there is a documentation given in the open form about the snappy hex mesh dictionary i will put a link for that document in the description below